inspires me. So I, I come here last night, we're hanging out and, and uh, you know, take a look at the house, we go to dinner and all this stuff. And he's just as excited <laughs> today than 20 years ago, coming, you know, when, when I was spending time with him, trying to learn from him, coming to, he'd come to my, you know, our little office that we had in Minneapolis, and he was just as passionate then as he is today. He would just literally go out there and say, you can change your life right now. And he, you know, he, he, he's, he's getting me like all fired up, ready to get involved in the profession all over again <laughs> last night because, you know, for, and he's telling these stories and we had this dinner with this great couple that, you know, they've achieved financial independence, this great family, um, you know, that uh, they live in Spain now, but from Germany and, and it's so fun. T tell everybody about the importance of stories. The importance of stories. Well, how, how important are stories uh, in what we do? Yeah, well, it's it's almost like you're a you're a paid storyteller. Hmm. You know, um, I've always been the type of person. You know, you sell results, not ingredients. And uh, just like your personal story, as far as what the product means to you, and your personal story, as far as what the business has meant to you. But I also love to share stories of others. Hmm. You know, other people that have gotten involved and what the product has meant, what the opportunity has meant. So, uh, you, know, our, it, you know, if I was really going to summarize our business, it, it would be this. Grow me, serve you. Hmm. You know, as you grow, your business grows. And if your focus is on serving others, like I said at the beginning, and I got this from Tony, he talked about, you know, where you're putting their needs ahead of your own. You know, you're not giving to get. You're not measuring what you get in return. You're truly there to, to put that person's needs ahead of yours. Mm. Number two, you're there to add massive value to their lives, you know, providing that value. And number three, creating that raving fan, building that relationship, that long-term relationship. You know, I always joke with people. I say, you know, I got two hobbies in the business, collecting friends and collecting money. And you should see the collection. <laughs> you know, that's because that's what it's all about. You know, the more friends. I mean, some of my best friends in the world are people that I've shared the product with and the opportunity with, and the relationships are just just in, invaluable. Let me ask. Let me ask you a question about um, what you share first, because there's a debate I think out there in the network marketing profession. I want you to understand. He has a million people in his organization on a monthly auto ship. A million people using the products on a monthly basis. Amazing, unbelievable legacy. But some people say you need to lead with the opportunity because, you know, then they'll use the product as a byproduct of the opportunity. Other people say, no, 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 you need to lead with the product, you know, because they've got to be a product of the product first, and then you can share the opportunity that's involved with the product. Yeah. What's your opinion? Well, first of all, I want to correct you on the million. Okay. Um, our, our company has over a million okay. that are on auto ship, and I have, a, I have a little piece of that pie. I mean, I'm pretty proud of the role I've played in that, but, okay. you know, one of the things I like to be is factual. I understand. You know, I understand. Uh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you know, there's, there's, you know, Jay Martin, another one of my mentors. Yeah. Um, you know, Jay's just a brilliant man, the president and founder of NSA, and, uh, you know, one of the things that I so much admire about him is his leadership and his wisdom, and, and I just have so much admiration and respect for the man. And I was very fortunate, actually, 25 years ago to find this company. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes in our industry, you know, our, some of these companies are here today go. and gone tomorrow. And, you know, Jay's weathered the time here of, you know, four or five different great product launches over the years and 40-plus years and yep. billions of dollars in sales. But, you know, Jay is, is a believer with, with our product that, you know, to, to lead with the product. And there's a lot of merit and a lot of wisdom in that because, you know, if you're just talking about the business, if I'm just leading with the business, it really doesn't make sense if you're not a product of the product. Hmm. If you don't believe in the product yourself, then how could you possibly go out there and share something with someone that you're not a passionate about yourself. Yeah. So I'm okay with 
you know, once I've shared with you the product story when I was talking to you last night about yeah. the importance of whole food. You should see him. He's like a little kid. He's running around. Here's a, here's a bag of this. And here's a, here's a, well, try one of these. Right. And try it. Try but what it. I was telling you about it, here's, here's a simple, fired up. simple concept. You know, right, right. here's what we should eat when it comes to fruits and vegetables. Here's what we do eat. Right. And juice plus bridges that gap. Right. Now, could I talk to you also then about if that makes sense to you, whole food nutrition, rich, right. that, that I could... I, would, could that make sense to you then to say, well, okay, well, Eric, I can show you a way, or what if I could show you a way where not only you could make this impact on your health of, of yourself and your family, but people that you love and people that you care about? Or, you know, I could ask a series of questions yeah. and get into what needs you're really looking for. Right. You know, so I can introduce the opportunity to somebody, but the product's still got to come first. You understand yeah. that? Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's no no deal if, if you don't get on the product and get on the auto ship and start taking the product and become as passionate about the product because you've got to have that. If, if, if not, it's built on sand. If some of these programs out there, you know, it's, you know, they're just a bunch of programs. It's an excuse. It's just an excuse. And, you know, we made our mistakes. I've, I've been involved in that before. and We've made our mistakes in the past, but for the, you know, the last 20 years, we've been out there building something where, you know, 90% of our sales are people that just take the product. Right. They're on auto ship because the product stands on its own. Right. You know, I might have a million, you might have over a million customers, but, you know, 10% of those, 100,000 of them have become distributors, representatives, started their own home-based business because they love the product. So about 90 and it's And it's not a, and, and here's how I, what I tell people. When you know what you know, it's not an opportunity, it's a responsibility. Hmm. How could you not, how could I not go out there and share this, this product or this opportunity with you? Once you know it. Once I know it. So my belief, the meaning I give it is so different. 